So my desire here today is to be hopefully of some assistance to folks that are updating their Qmatic uh, firmware on their computer software as well as the firmware on the Q2024 or Q16 Plus. Uh, one of the first things I would recommend is that uh, you come down and um, do a what they call a creating a restore point and if you just go into this type field down here in the lower right corner type in the word create you'll kind of get this pop up here we have the create a restore point um, this computer um, that came standard with my long arm it's a Dell computer it's not a super powerful computer just has the one hard drive which is fine for everything that we need to do with long arming all you would do is you would come here and you would click on create you would name your um, your restore like before updating Qmatic and the reason why you want to do this is in case something goes wrong it has saved the state of the computer before you did anything so it's kind of a get out of jail free card the other thing uh, in case something goes wrong the other things I already did this the other thing is I would come down here and uh, type in like Windows Update uh, so Windows Windows Update Settings and if I click here uh, or you know, check for updates shall we say what will happen is you'll get this this window and if you, you can see here you're up to date last checked today at 4 59 p.m. Um, prior to filming this this is sorry for bumping the camera this is the second time that I'm trying to film this my computer decides to um, to update which um, it, it can be what it's good to, to update and by all means update your system um, I would recommend if this is not saying you're up to date as of like today blah blah that click on check for updates and force any updates that you have for Windows before updating your system. The last thing you want to be doing is installing a program and then lo and behold a Windows update drops uh, via the internet uh, from the internet goddess and uh, now you're trying to update Windows and your Qmatic. Um, maybe nothing will happen but we just don't want to go there. So what you'll see is there's there's actually two parts for updating uh, your system. The first part has to deal with updating what's on the computer itself and what they call the control box. The control box is what you turn on and you push the green button to get the power and it sends the information to the little XY motors and all that good stuff. Um, so there's two updates. Currently I have the most recent prior to the update um, on this system and my uh, version of Qmatic uh, before this update is 2.04.01 and the controller box is QCS 4239R109 and you find that by opening up Qmatic going under help about and it will give you that data. I'm not going to do that here because you guys have been in Qmatic. You understand that component. But I would always just write down what you ha <clears throat> excuse me, what you had prior to doing all this jazz so you kind of know where you were before taking this journey. If everything goes according to plan and knock what I'm doing this live with you that it will, um, we should be at Qmatic 3.00.22 and the control uh, box is going to be the same um, numbers that I gave you, but it's going to end in 110 as opposed to uh, the 109. The other thing that we will do, and this is the second part of the update, is updating the head of the machine. Um, and so uh, that's very similar. The process is very similar if you have a 7 series or 8 series uh, domestic sewing machine. It's very similar to that. So. I have the um, the firmware software um, exe file on a USB stick and I'm just going to uh, open up my uh, file explorer and I'm going to go to the location where that is and it's this file here. So uh, as you can see um, it is showing, I'll probably try to zoom in on that, uh, it's showing uh, 3.0022 it's giving me the firmware box which is again ending in 110 the so head information which is uh, 39.09.01 art and stitch as version uh, 3498 3498 I currently have that but this is in case you didn't update your art and stitch 
the latest uh, is there. Art and Stitch is now, um, I think they're on version 7. I think it's version 7 now. We have version 5, and that's as far as we need as long armors, but Art and Stitch is a full-blown embroidery software program, and so you can certainly update beyond that, but it doesn't really, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have a lot of features that we're going to be interested in as long arm quilters. So we're still in version 5, and that particular build was once again to be $34.98. So I'm going to double click on this, and as with all .exe files, what should happen is I should get a, um, a little screen that's asking me if I want to update or to do its thing. So let me give it a little bit of chance to think here. Okay, and so I get this little guy here. I'm going to say, um, do you want to make uh, changes to your app, blah, blah, unknown publisher? Well, we know it's Bernina. That's where we got it from. This is all the information I just gave you. I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to give me this wizard. And what Bernina recommends, and I will reiterate, is go to, make sure you do all of the defaults. In other words, don't check overwrite design database. Uh, or anything else. Whatever the screen is, your job is to click on Next. So I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to click on Install. And it's saying the setup is preparing to install Qmatic. It's working its Windows Magic, which is beyond my skill set. I come up here, let's see if you can see, let me get over here. This screen over here opened up. It's welcome to this bridge driver installer. And again, I'm just going to click next to allow it to install. Let me see, can you see that okay? Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to accept the agreement cuz you have to do that to move forward. And I'm going to click next. And I'm going to click Finish. So that did a bridge installer. So I'm going to say Finish. Okay. Now it says here, completing the Qmatic setup wizard. Yes, I want to restart my computer, and we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on Finish, and the computer's going to restart, and then I'll come back with you. So the computer restarted, and what the directions tell me is I need to come up here to Qmatic and restart it. So I'm just going to double-click Qmatic. And it's saying here, an old firmware release has been detected on your control cam cabinet. Do you wish to update the firmware? We do want to do this, so let's click on yes. Your control cabinet has been successfully updated. Please shut down your PC and power off the control cabinet. Restart the system. Notice it is telling you to... Um, to re not just restart the computer, it wants you to shut everything down, including shutting down power to the control cabinet. And can I just say, I'm going to come down here, how exciting is this, guys? There are new icons. Let's just say, ooh, ah. So I'm coming back up here, and I'm just going to say, um, restart the system. So I'm going to do this. It's going to restart the system, but I'm also going to just shut the whole thing down. So I'm coming down here. And I'm going to power the computer down, shut down the computer. And this, you, probably you're needing to, um, to shut the power off of the control box because it has to flash the memory, flash the chip that's in there. So I'm going to do that off camera because you don't need to see. I'm just powering off the system and you can see a shadow. Hi, this is me. Okay, so off camera I turned off the controller box. I counted to a um, six Mississippi before turning things back on and spat over my left shoulder just for good order. Um, 
I'm going to now go ahead and restart the software and what I'm just wanting to do is to confirm um, to confirm the version has been updated. Okay, I'm just going to cancel out of this because I don't need to create a zone at this point. I'm coming up, let me make sure you can see. Yes, I'm coming up to the um, whoo, coming up to the question mark here. And I want to go to about. And what I'm wanting to see, I just grabbed a little piece of paper here. These these are the numbers here that you want to see. And life is good. This is showing me version 3.00.22. The control of the software version is QCS4239R110. So the computer and the controller box has been updated. The other thing that we need to do, um, oh, there's just so many new little icons here. How fun. I'm going to go ahead and just close the software down. And what I am after is, it might be in this folder. Q series firmware. Let me just see what's in there. Yes, so you can see, let me just double click here. These, this is the, the firmware update. Let me see, you can see, yes. This is the firmware updates for the heads of the machine. Um, you can use a Q16 on a long arm frame without any issue if you're going to be doing pantographs, that type of thing. But if you're using um, uh, Qmatic with the robotics, you need a Q16 plus. So I'm interested in this guy here, which is for the Q20 and Q24. And what I'm seeing here are these four files. One, two, three, four. These four files, which is going to, in essence, give me the um, the firmware that will update the head of the machine. And how I can um, put this on is I'm going to just take out this one USB stick. I don't need her anymore. Um, and I'm going to put in this other one. This one should be a blank stick. And you can see this is in my D drive here. If I right click on this, this is where I can format the stick if I need to. Um, I did format this, so I'm going to look under Properties. And what I'm interested in is that the file system here is FAT32. This is important, not just for the stick where you updated Qmatic, but also when you update the head of the machine. You need it to be formatted as FAT32. It's otherwise the default format that is uh, on the Windows system. Uh, if you don't have it, if you have it like as uh, FAT32EX or NTSC or other types of formats, your, your updating will not um, proceed successfully. So I'm just going to say that's good. I've got my blank disk here. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over stage left and this guy stage right. And all I need to do is I want to take these guys and these guys live on my my computer and I'm just going to left click and drag these over to the USB stick and let these guys copy. Notice I'm putting it on the root of the USB stick. Do you see where it says? It says USB D. It does not say USB stick D. The folder is called Q2024 and then I get to these files. No, it's, it's in the root of the USB stick. I hope that makes sense. So this is good. This can go away for now. I wouldn't delete this. I would leave this on your system in case for whatever reason you need that update for the head of the machine again. It's not taking up that much space and it can come in handy. And then what you want to do generally always, unless you forget, like I've done, um, you want to come down here and you want to go ahead and eject the USB stick. So that's ejected. I can now take, it says, it says I can safely remove the hardware, which is a USB stick. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take you over to the head of the machine. So here I am at the, uh, at the head of the uh, Q24. Um, 
I have the USB stick that we just put those four files in the root directory on. And one thing I want to point out is this is the back of your machine. Actually, it's a picture of it. And um, what you'll see here is all these different ports that are really, really confusing. What I want to point out is it's this point port here, which is number four, number four in your manual. This is your manual for the Q2024. It's on page 18, page 18. Okay, this is where you want to put the USB stick. In fact, it has that like three prong trident coming next to it, which kind of tells you this is a USB port. There is another thing down here that looks like it could be a USB port. I, bel I won't even hazard to guess. I don't have handles on the back of my machine and I'm not a technician. But although you could plug a USB stick in there, that's not where you want to be. Think of it as kind of in the center. Get get your manual out if you have questions. But you're going to look for the trident. It looks like a USB symbol, and then you will be good. But that is in the back of the machine. I did that off camera because it's not exciting to see someone plug in a USB stick. So I want to zoom in a little closer so you can see the screen. By the way, um, I think I already mentioned, but I'm going to mention again, my name is Shannon Strain. I'm an educator here in Pennsylvania. I teach um, the embroidery software classes for uh, two fabulous shops in our area, uh, one of them being Steve Sewing back, back in King of Prussia, the other one Burns Sewing in the Doylestown area, I do believe. Um, and um, you can get online classes if you're interested in uh, version 9 Bernina Designer Plus classes or Design Works. Uh, classes um, at stevesewingvac.com or burnssewing.com and I'll have those um, links up on the um, on the screen so what I want to do is I want to go into the home screen here and next thing I want to do is I want to go into the gears and after the gears I want to go down to where it has the sewing machine here and after the sewing machine, I want to click on this wrench. If I wanted to find out what current version uh, software is on this, I can go into the information screen. And here's where my version is. And as I would mentioned earlier, it was 39.06. If everything goes well, and it will, it will, it'll be 39.09, I believe. So I want to go back one step and then one more step, then back into the wrench. Now, I'm going to click on the update here in just a minute. Um, this is the same as on a 7 series machine, 8 series machine, I believe 5 series as well. And that is that you may have designs and stuff that are on your machine. And what it allows you to do is save all of your personal designs back onto the USB stick and then it loads it back in after the update. This is not as applicable on a Q series machine. Uh, you might have some personal settings uh, in there, like if you changed the thread tension, um, that type of thing, you know, for metallic threads and you saved it as a profile, that would be something specific and you, it'll certainly save that over and bring it back to you. So I'm going to click on here on the update and what it's telling me is, uh, again, the stuff that I just found out that this was what's on my machine and what I want to do is I want to update it. If you notice here, this is saying um, take what's on the USB stick and bring it to the machine and this is saying take the special designs my special stitches and bring it to the USB stick it's not really applicable on this machine per se uh, so I'm just going to click on update and it's going to go through its magic again beyond my comprehension but I'm glad we have smart people that can figure this stuff out and it just shut itself down and I'm just letting you see the process so it's loading the bootloader the data etc I'm just gonna let it do its thing and I'm not gonna cut away because I want you to see the process and the length of time it takes to do this
finish the update and you can see it took a while to do that so you have to be patient with this. Now it's saying if I saved anything over to the USB stick, it's bringing it over to the machine. I didn't, I didn't find a reason to do that for my particular uh, situation, but you certainly can. That's always a good screen to see, guys. Uh, so I'm going to say um, check. That's also a good screen to see. So let's go uh, and look to make sure that we have the newer version. So I'm in the touch the home, touch the gears, touch the machine, touch the information, touch the version. Look at the version now, 39.09.01. Life is good. So. I'm hoping that this video has helped you um, because even though I've been doing this for a while, my pulse was up a little bit each time I do these things. And if we can take a little bit of the stress off of dealing with computers and stuff, I'm all for that. Again, consider checking out stevesewinvac.com, burnsewing.com for uh, software classes, and I uh, hope you got something out of this. Take care. Bye for now.